three, two, one, go. We've seen these teams adopt different strategies during the quarterfinals. Moving into the semifinals, Autonomous going the way of Red right now. Red Alliance putting in a couple more. 13-23, Madtown Robotics. And will they tie it up? Blue Alliance looks like they will have slight advantage after Autonomous by one cargo. Red Alliance, though, way ahead now on cargo count, but points-wise, this is very close. Symbotics up on two wheels, managing to recover. That was precarious. 987 taking a shot for Blue Alliance. Those will go in. Red Alliance right behind them. 13-23, Madtown. 41-53, Project Y trying to slow down Symbotics. Managing to keep Symbotics away from an open area where they can shoot. Red Alliance pulling ahead, 74-56. Whoa, 604 goes over, Quicksilver. This looks like it was a result of a braking maneuver, but could have been a result of an impact with another robot. We will find out, and that could be consequential for the Blue Alliance. Blue Alliance now with an opportunity to close the gap. 41-53, assuming a defensive posture, working on Symbotics. 987 scoring for the Red Alliance. 11-23, putting in cargo. Madtown still shooting. Blue Alliance. Unable to capitalize on the loss of 604 on the field. Red Alliance still with a significant lead, and there goes Symbotics looking to try and finish it up. But 1323 Madtown, so strong. Still within 10. Red Alliance closing it up or making it even a bigger gap. There goes 4907 up to the traversal rung. Is there enough time with eight seconds and can Symbotics get up to the high rung and make up the differential of 11 points? And it looks like we will have two traversal climbs for the Red Alliance, two traversals separating the Red and the Blue Alliance here. Cargo making the difference, not enough Blue Alliance cargo with their hangar advantage to be able to overtake the Red Alliance. 